stunning view as well. We're sitting on the other side of Gauri Wartal, looking sort of almost from an 80 degree angle back towards the little pan. What a stunning herd. This is the herd from the other night, without a doubt. Just from the number, if we count them carefully, there should be 15 of them, or 16 maybe. And also that tiny little one is in amongst them as well, just tucked away inside the safety of their legs. Welcome on the vehicle. You can see just a slightly different view of that same stunning scene. Oh, it would be magic if this herd also sticks around for a while. A bit closer. Now, of course, elephants can go if need be. They can go a day or two or even three without drinking water. But preferably, they drink once a day. And if water is easily accessible, they'll drink even more. The same herd was here last night, very late. What's the time now? It's 12, about 15, 16 hours since they spent some time here. Of course, also in summertime. They've got a lot more sort of green food, just a lot of food with a lot more moisture in it. In winter they're eating a lot of bark and dry grass and so on, so they also need a bit more water to aid the digestive system. I can see the other night they were quite relaxed with us, we had a little bit of sports and games from them. What we're going to do is just once again slowly ease our way in there. Sometimes people just drive up to a big herd like this and you must keep in mind that they've got a tiny little baby with them, lots of youngsters. There's a whole lot of social activity in that little group that you can see there. It's best just to approach them slowly, politely, just sort of introduce ourselves from a distance. You can see no reaction yet, that matriarch not shaking a head or moving. There's a bit of a greeting, one younger female greeting the, the bigger adult there. You can see the trunk, there's a tiny one tucked away in those legs. <laughs> Still wobbly leg. Look at that. Two different calves suckling at the moment. The one on the left here that we're looking at. Another female further to the right also suckling. And again, that just shows you extreme comfort. They're not worried about us. The mothers are calm enough relaxed enough to let the youngsters suckle on them it means they're quite happy with us there's the little one in amongst those legs again Sneak us just a little bit closer still. Oh, just look at that. Incredible. That one's still drinking. The little one you almost can't see, it's right in there. Let's have a look at this one suckling first. 
See if that tiny little one comes out for us, maybe. That little one makes it difficult to see. Let's try and have a look. It's just lying flat down inside in the mud. There you can see in amongst those other elephants. Sliding around. Keep in mind that it's slowly getting more confident now. Stronger, more coordinated. And in that way it can also get to know more of the elephant members of this herd. It can start playing around with them. Start getting to know each one by scent and sound and touch even. Dust bathing down there, nice powdery dust. It's the question that came through from Lynn about Somali, the female we looked at slightly earlier in this herd. Basically wanting to know if they're not in the same herd, if this herd will tolerate her in the area or around the water. Typically find that elephant herds are very polite around water holes. If you have different herds, they will give other herds chances to drink. I've seen that many times other parts of southern Africa where you get big herds and, and the water holes are widely spread out. But they would certainly not chase her away necessarily. I mean, in fact, I can still see one or two elephants in the distance there, that younger bull from earlier that, that came up to us. So that means Somalia is still within 100 yards of here. Generally speaking, there's a lot of tolerance toward each other, even if you're not from the same family. And also, she would probably link up with him. Again, it's not uncommon it's even possible that in this case Somali might have been part of this herd some time ago. She's maybe even the daughter of the matriarch. And then slowly she's moved on to start her own little group now just because this group was getting so big. This is a very healthy looking herd. I'm just going to do a quick count again. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just counted 20 of them. So obviously since the other night a few elephants have joined up with them as well. Like I said earlier, especially in the daytime, quite often you'll find they break up into smaller units and then they regroup again in the evening. So Somali and they might even spend time with them later on. know where to look. Look at that one down on his knees in the mud, Rex. 